Well, the LAPD's watchdog agency says poor supervision and fatigue were two key factors in last summer's massive firework explosion here in South Los Angeles. More than a dozen people were hurt and nearly two dozen homes damaged. Now, the NBC4I team has been following the investigations into how the LAPD bomb squad's trained technicians managed to make such a catastrophic mistake. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard has the very latest. This second review of the events that led to the explosion on 27th Street amplifies the blame on the LAPD's bomb squad. The L.A. Police Commission's Office of Inspector General wrote in the report made public this week that a lack of supervision and failure to utilize best practices had become acceptable, that officers at the scene were tired, that training had been cut back because of COVID, and that the main bomb squad supervisor didn't take action when one officer voiced concern the detonation might be bigger than initially. Thought. And the supervising detective stated to ATF interviewers that it was never the practice of the bomb squad to physically weigh a suspected explosive. The LAPD says it's already replaced the bomb squad unit's top supervisor and is in the process of training eight new technicians. It says it's addressing the problems described in the report. This report sort of tears the scab again off. Councilman Curran Price, who represents the district where the explosion happened, said some people whose homes were damaged are still living in hotels at city expense. And he says he's still waiting for real accountability for what happened, names and ranks. We got to figure out what this process is, what the decision-making process is, who was in line, uh, who gave the okay, and who's responsible now for the actions uh, that occurred. Absent from this report was specific accountability for the LAPD officers who pushed the button and caused the detonation. The ATF previously said the LAPD had underestimated, guesstimated the amount of explosive power inside that containment truck. And because of California's strict police officer privacy rules, there's a good chance the public won't ever find out if the officers involved were suspended, fired, or reassigned. In downtown LA, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. All right, taking you live outside, beautiful picture from mm. Malibu. The calendar says winter.